Isli. A suburb in Nairobi County that seems little connected to the rest of Nairobi. And due to its economic transformation and dominance by Somalis, both economically and culturally, termed with names like the Little Mogadishu, more than Mogadishu, and even a country within a country. People in Isli now, by the, by the that time, they were. This area of Nairobi, and it bring a lot of revenue to the government, but you can see. So that the business in Isli will become more than others down. Roads are narrow, dirty, and very rough full of puddles and plug drainage system. But despite all this, Isli emerged to be a successful commercial zone. So what led Isli to become this booming commercial hub and what really attracted huge customers to Isli? And currently, with the construction of road in progress, what change could be seen in Sli over the coming years? Hello and a warm welcome. I'm Abdurrahman Shakusman. Now, for the past two decades, majority of mainstream news from Somalia has been almost all of them touching on the darker side. The Horn of Africa has been a center of clan-based enmities, extreme political instability that left the state without a functioning government since 1991. The rise of modern-day piracy that sets ships along the coastline for ransom, and even the rise of militant groups like Al-Shabaab. However, recently, a significant number of Somali community has an optimistic view about their homeland. For the first time since the fall of Siad Barre in 1991, Somalia chooses a new democratically elected president, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, and so far his government won a quite remarkable achievement, including bringing back relative peace in Mogadishu, that saw property prices to rise for the first time in over 20 years. Now, with all the negative press, the Somali community has often been associated over the years. There are also a number of notable achievements and compelling development that done by the community that has been simply overlooked. For instance, the hidden story of Somali's success in business. And I'm here to look the Somali business in this commercial hub, Isli. Isli is a residential and commercial suburb located in the east of the central business district, commonly known as the CPD. It is a relatively small area consisting of two main avenues, the first and the second avenue, and several streets interconnecting each other. Administratively, Isli is divided into three sections. Section 1, that stretch from Juja Road. Section 2, the Parcelin Commercial Center. And Section 3, that is located along Jogo Road. The area acts as a both a residential and commercial center, with, its, with majority of its residents being the Somali community. Now, to understand more about this vibrant commercial hub, there is the need to look back the history of Isli. According to source written down about Isli, the area was found in around 1921 and has always been a home to an immigrant trading community. In 1905, a British colony decided to reset to white people there and then they shift them from Kililishwa to here where the place called Isle now. During the colonial era, the colonial government allotted Nairobi residential estate by race and Isle was pointed for Asians and elite Africans. 
These settlements were conducted based through areas of racial hygiene and associated fear of physical contamination. And as a result of this, an emergent Indian trading class had to settle east of the society. The Africans were organized to settle the plains while the whites occupied and settled the cool forested suburb areas. However, having said that, history documents also suggest that initially Somalis came to Nairobi as an escort from the British Empire builders like Lord Delamere and Lord Lugard. Most of the soldiers who came from, from the north Somalia, it was called British Somaliland, the British brought them here. There were two type of the people who the, the British brought in this country. First was Delamere, who discovered this country when they colonized. It was 1887. And he come from Hargeisa, where he have a convoy of almost 60 people, soldiers from there. That is the time they reach in Nairobi. This led the Lord Delamere to secure the interests of Somalis in Nairobi. With time, the Somali community commenced to settle easily and provided the pains for the Somalis merchants and their families who arrived in the 1990s, just when the Somalis functioned government of Syed Barre clubs and civil war erupted, killing thousands and displacing many more. The aftermath of this was increased settlement in Isli that led the population of Isli previously home to a few thousands, mainly Kikyu and small traders, now need to accommodate more than 100,000 Somalis taken over the general business in Isli. Uh, in Kenya, we always had the Kikuyus as the most enterprising community, but now Somalis have come up and we are seeing them in the business, in, in Matatu business, in supermarkets, and other, other in investment areas. Uh, in my opinion, I think uh, the Somali culture has a lot to do with um, their um, success, not only in Kenya, but even in other parts of the world. Uh, for example, it's very common to know that the Somalis have very close connections, either through family line, kinship, and they like helping each other. So if a Somalia has established a business, chances are fellow Somalis will also have a chance to benefit from that kind of investment. And I think this has really worked very well for the community. And, um, uh, um, that mutual assistance, which is very common among Somalis, is a uh, reason for their success. The Somalia committed to suicide. It was a state because there was no one who attacked Somalia, so Somalis fought among themselves. And, and, and so, one, the investment environment in Mogadishu was completely disrupted, and the investors in Somalia had uh, to look for other place to invest. I think ECB in Kenya was uh, one of the most beneficiary of the Somali infrastructure to put in place. So chances are they, they are going to make a lot of um, a lot of profit in Mogadishu. And most of it may even find its way to Nairobi. Because this is where the investment is and even the money to be invested in Mogadishu may come from. So rather than relocating uh, and you may want to open branches, besides there is this East African community now, common market, which uh, the business in Sydney are also a joy. When you are in Nairobi, you can still trade in Uganda, in Rwanda, in Burundi. This is another factor which may make those um, business people in Sydney need to actually relocate to Mogadishu, but see Mogadishu as a new area to invest. When Somalis moved to this area in around 1921, it was called Campia Somali, Swahili name which means Somali camp. It was not until the 1930s when the name changed to Isli after the arrival of the Royal Air Force. And I think it was about 1918 something, the first plan, it was called Campia Somali, where the Somali lives. 
and this name Isli. Subsequently changed to, uh, uh, to, from to Somali come to Isli. This name Isli came from London. Still in this time there is a place called Isli in Hampshire. For the old men, before the coming of the Somalis, Isli was just a merely push area with few old fashioned buildings. Nimeona Isli wakati wa 74 na leo 2014 leo mimi naona tofauti kubwa. Nyumba zilikuwa fupi fupi. Hai kwa magorofa Isli. Leo Isli ni magorofa tupu lakini barabara hakuna. Matope kwa kitembea hivi matope hakuna barabara. Biashara ilikuwa nzuri lakini leo ndio mzito. Leo ndio biashara nzuri kwa maana ki jaribu kutembea maduka iko na mali ile kitu tumekosa isili ndo barabara hata kama ni wasomali wanasema wasomali wasomali mimi nawapenda kwa vile wamelete maendeleo ya manyumba mrefu mrefu na maduka sokoni sasa iko sawa sawa kabla hakuna mabao wa nini hapo ndio nimependea hii amani hata mimi nawaambia amani wa isili kukae Nairobi tupate maendeleo mzuri kama vile hii so unasema ni Somalia ambao walileta maendeleo. Wameleta maendeleo kabisa kabisa kabisa. So Mr. Justice wewe uliishi na wa Somalia? Nimeishi nao hata kazi na wafanyia customer yangu. Kwa kweli hapo umesema kweli. Kwa vile sasa mtu akiwa ametoka nje aende Mombasa mwaka tano arudi hapa. Ataona kama hapa ni kama magadiso. Na wao wenyewe wanasema si wa Somalia. Wenzangu wa Jaluo, wengine wa Kikuyu isilimi kwa magadiso ile kitu tumekosa isili ni barabara but with the coming of the new immigrant isli was flush with cash the mogadishu merchant came with with the needed capital and found the right and most convenient place to invest isli and currently isli owns huge shopping containing a lot of wealth like any recognized region what makes the little mogadishu so recognized is not just the share of somali's community but rather the wealth of the business it supports. In the past, residents of Isli did all these notable business activities amid poor and rough infrastructure. This is how typically the roads in Isli were before the, con the current construction. Well, I remember some years back, uh, to drive on this road was quite hectic uh, and problematic. There was a huge traffic congestion here and even the road was not in good condition. But right now, as you see, the way is smooth and taxi men and drivers cannot hide their happiness. Now, over the years, poor roads in Isli was the very least of problems for traders here in Isli. Leo is in Magrofa Troop. Akini Barbara Kona. Matope kwa kitembea hivi matope hakuna barabara. Biashara ilikuwa nzuri lakini leo ndio mzito. Leo ndio biashara nzuri kwa maana ukijaribu kutembea maduka iko na mali. Ile kitu tumekosa isili ndo barabara. Hata kama ni wasomali wanasema wasomali wasomali mimi nawapenda kwa vile wamelete maendeleo ya manyumba mrefu mrefu na maduka sokoni sasa iko sawa sawa kabla hakuna mabao wa nini hapo ndio nimependea hii amani hata mimi nawaambia amani wa isili kukae Nairobi tupate maendeleo mzuri kama vile hii and the road structures were very bad by the many years but when 19 in and 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 19 2008, the, when it was coalition government, we invite, we invite the Prime Minister in this area, and then it was started to plan how to rebuild the first construction. But now we have two roads, only have been first avenue and second avenue and all these things are surely 
it is the people who concerned about like city council, like water and sewer. I know we have complained very many things, but now I think when we, if they want to do it, this is the time to do, and we are number one to produce everything. Okay, uh, this uh, developmental structure that you see, uh, this, all this improvement, uh, it not just come at once, it come through struggle. As you know, uh, uh, the person from this area was only elected this time. Uh, I, think the, the, yeah, I think the previous members, uh, MB who was representing the area, has neglected the area very well. It was just like uh, these people were just uh, were perceived as if they are just uh, uh, settlers who have no right. But I think since we have elected uh, uh, the current MB, Yusuf Hassan, he has taken a lot of initiative uh, to improve his uh, istilai. Uh, for example, as you can see, a lot of construction of roads. However, recently there has been all the reason for Isli's resident to smile as Kenyan government has finally tendered the construction of dual carriageway that will cut across Isli estate. The project involves 5.5 km long dual carriageway with intimate service. This current construction came as a result of numerous demonstrations by Isli business people and residents posing a greater business potential it automatically need to be rehabilitated. This project is welcomed by residents of Isli who see it as a real boost to business development here in Isli. Include the people how to see the, the road. I think is uh, the change is very well but it's not uh, uh, low. But the, the people I stay in Isli, I'm, 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 I'm congratulations for how to peel the, the road and others, they will be get uh, some advantage. My name is uh, Muhammad Abdi. Uh, I see the building of these roads are more important for the Isli people because of the business in Nairobi. The most people who do the business in Nairobi is other people in Isli. And to build this, uh, these roads, it is uh, make easily to reach the people, uh, the customers in here. And it make us uh, happy as the people in Isli. Thanks. Hapa isili ibarabara ikendelea kujengwa hivi ndio watu bado wanaendelea kutumia lakini sasa kisha kuwa tiari na hapo sasa isili itakuwa ni town kivyake sasa wakati mwingine hasa hii barabara ikiweza kuwa imeisha kutengenezwa tungeweza kuomba serikali hasa kwa umoja tukao hapa isili kama wafanya biashara na wale wa kufanya biashara tuwe na security ya kutosha kuti ya kwanza well, as you see, this road is under construction. It is the second avenue and plays a very vital role in Isli's business as it cuts major commercial zones and even connects this commercial heart to the central business district. And there is no doubt that residents and traders here have a great expectation that the completion of this road will gradually boost much of the economic activities here in Isli. The sound of busy buyers and sellers fills the air every day, all the day, and even with a time like the Eid and the Christmas festival, no room for bargain. The hub is always busy and puzzling with humanities and business of all sorts. A walk along the busy street of Isli will give you an, a real picture of Mogadishu. This complex building you are seeing is called Gariza Lodge. During the early days when Somalis entered, it was just a cheap establishment frequented by Somali journeymen. During that time, the Somali traders had neither the request paper nor the facilities to set up the business. And for this reason, many of them have already begun using Gar Gariza Lodge as both a hotel and a market. They will certainly put their pants against the walls during the day and turn the tiny rooms into stalls selling whatever they could get their hands on, including hat, 
leather goods, second-hand cloth from Gikomba market and many more other commodities. I think the name of this market now called Garissa. We know we have, we have a Garissa town, we have a Garissa district, northern and eastern, but this name of the Garissa came from Garissa Lodge where it was called a lodge. People come from everywhere and they uh, no, it was not as, uh, start by northern frontier, the northern and, and northern same people. It was a lodge where the people occupied to sleep on the night and during the day, and during the the day they sold the goods. That's funny. These people came from when the Somali 1991, uh, yeah, they come. They start. They start. The people see. We. I want to thank. We as a Somali original Kenyans, and our brothers Kenyans, we were absolutely out of the business. Business was dominated by the Asians only. If you go anywhere in the shops. It was by them. But when our brothers came, because they were very, they know the business, they start teaching us and we followed them. We go to Dubai, we went to Hong Kong, we went to China, and now even our brothers, Kenya, other brothers, you meet them there, but before, no. With the time it was started, when the Somali collapsed, and then people start moving. So what do you think? Subsequently, a Somali woman saw the opportunity and bought the building. She turned over the rooms into business stalls, but decided to keep the old name, which is now how Garissa Lodge, the first shopping mall in Nisli, was born. Starting from this date, there has been a progressive development, and the street of Sli was dotted with new high-rise building. And currently, Islia has a lot of shopping malls, each striving to compete hard and get a competitive advantage over the other. These malls sell cheap goods imported from China, Dubai, Thailand, and even Saudi Arabia. From Saudi Arabia, UK, even Iran. Yeah, our next neighbors, all others, but most of them were our competitors. No, no, they came from other countries. Even we send in other countries. Magaiga wahalaha Zainab Hajj Abdullahi, or Kumagadir Zainab Lee. We have to go there. He died in Kaa. We have to go there. We have to go there. He died in Kaua. We have to go there. All of them are coming from all over the world. Come to Thai. The fruits, the shampoos, the mud, the oil, the cream, the ginger, the lemon. Alabah kalau unsi ga, for example, hidai dah kena kena hangkak kita kuar raga, kuar oma arak tay gablaha, ikatan arus kita, hangkak kita. Ada tan makna itu apa sih? Tan makna itu hawaii washanglo, di mana hangkak kita sana, tak kira orang asal mali tak kira kita sini. Now just to show how this community has dominated both economically and culturally, there are shops which purely sells cultural items like this ones right here, which you are seeing. Which are known for the Somali community in traditional ways, and I talked to the owner of this shop. Ha, kemi do hela angal sida ujudid kurbinta lakalka masafta ha kalim ha kalo kemi da sida sida dumar kamar kemi ma tadaba da ikab hayan ma da hayku hirtan hayal bula nangan na hida daqan Somali all wangan na. So, for example, I have to go to America and I have to go to America. My work to investigate more about this commercial hub ends here where I ask some of the traders they hope initially in the coming future with the improved infrastructure. Oh, if, and I pray the God to be there by that time. I want Sli to be a city in the city. Just like all I came to realize is that traders want to see a more successful and developed Sli. For simple, this is a market on a mission.